So are you someone who's trying to make an exit from your current career because maybe you're not as passionate as you once were? Maybe you want to find something that you enjoy more that actually makes you money, but it feels like you're handcuffed to your current situation. Or maybe you're just trying to speed up this process so that you can retire early too. If so, today's video is for you. I want to share how I left my police career early by creating a multi six figure online coaching business. Yes, you heard me right. I recently left my LAPD career with 20 years on so that I could pursue my true passion, which is leadership and coaching. If any of you want to hear that process and what I was able to do to make this happen, this is the video for you. Are you ready? Let's go. So welcome to Modern Leadership, where we see things differently. We help busy parents become modern leaders so they can excel in their personal and professional lives without burning themselves out. We do that with short, quick tip videos on Mondays and Thursdays and longer workshops to help you personalize things based off of your specific leadership role. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, but let's jump right in. So I still remember December of 2002. We were standing on what's called the black line and I was getting screamed at. You see, I'd worked my entire life to become a police officer. My father was a police officer. I watched every police show known to man. And I would even ask weird and off the wall questions that only a police officer in training would. But that day in December is the day that I thought that I had made it. I was so proud of becoming a member of Los Angeles Police Department. Fast forward 10 years on the department and I came to find out that even though this might have been my dream, that there was more for me to go after. Now I wanna say that there's nothing wrong with police work. I would do it all over again. But something also was pushing me for more. It was a mixture of me wanting to make a bigger impact in the world and the effect that the job had on my health, my family, and it's what led me to ultimately developing an autoimmune disease. I knew that if I wanted to make a bigger impact and be able to excel when it comes to my health and my family, I needed to make a change. Now, growing up always wanting to be a police officer made it very difficult for me to make this change. Now, I'm going to tell you that this path was not easy. And I'm also gonna tell you that this might not be the path for you to take. I just wanna share what worked for me in this process that helped me first identify what I really wanted and then helped me create a plan to go out and get it. Now I get asked a lot how I was able to do this and I wanna share with you what actually got me started. Now for me personally, I struggled with my weight for a very long time. I actually weighed 100 pounds more than I do today. What really helped me in the beginning is understanding that businesses are there to help solve problems. And some of the problems that I've personally experienced and gone through and been able to come out stronger on the other side were the opportunity that I needed to create a business. So after losing 100 pounds, people started to ask me what it was that I was doing to make that happen. So I basically started to help people with their own health and fitness. Now, being a police officer, I had no idea how to make a sale, how to market my product, how to find new customers, and really how to run a business in general. And so needless Needless to say, I was capped out pretty early on and I could never pass the $50,000 a year mark. It was at this point that I came across my mentor, Josh Coates, who taught me your outward success is a reflection of your inner growth. So I learned that if I wanted a business to grow, I had to start growing first. That's when I first teamed up with him and I started to learn the philosophies of life coaching. What's crazy is when I understood those philosophies, not only did I know how I lost 100 pounds, I was able to recreate that same success for other people on a much higher level because I understand really how the subconscious mind works. By being able to develop that skill in one year, I 4 x my income while going on more vacations with my family than ever before. Because one thing I constantly want to talk about is as a modern leader, I don't want you to have success professionally at the cost of your family. You can have both. Now, fast forward to February 2nd of this year, I officially left my police career to become a full-time life coach. It's kind of crazy even just saying that now. I mean, I left being a police officer so that I can become a life coach. People always give me weird looks when I say that. Now, becoming a life coach might not be in the cards for you too. That's okay. You don't have to follow my exact steps to have success. But I want you to understand the universal principles that we're going to talk about now so that you can create what you want to create. Let's get started. So number one is start with mindset first. If you've watched any of my videos recently, you're going to see that there's a pattern that's going on. When it comes to starting a business, I want you to actually ask yourself, why do I want to start a business? What is the problem that my business will help solve? What kind of impact will this make on myself, on my family, and the world? Now, some other questions that you can ask yourself is, what are some struggles that I've overcome in my life that people ask me about all the time? What are things that I do naturally that seem to be hard for other people? What do others ask you to help them do? Now, once you start getting into the creation process, I want you to ask yourself, at what point would you know for sure that it's time to leave your current job? Now, I'm not saying you have to, but if you're planning on it, I want you to put that date in stone. And then what can you do right now to start creating that safety net for when the time comes? 
Now, there's one caveat here. I want you to understand that the way you think it's going to turn out is not the way that it's going to turn out. If you told me that I was going to become a full-time life coach when I became a police officer, I would have laughed at you. But if I had not been willing to get started and then to adjust along the way, I would not be where I am today. So remember, the way that you think it's going to end is never the way that it ends, but you have to get started. Number two is develop the tactics and skills. So when you think about the problem that you're helping solve, are there some specific skills that you need to develop to be able to help out others more? And what are some skills you need to develop to actually create a business? And who is someone that can help you develop those skills? I'm talking about things like sales, marketing, teaching, coaching, leading, building a business, team management, systems. Now I get it, this can kind of seem like a lot, right? But if you're willing to develop these skills one at a time, over time, your business will become an unstoppable force. I also want to make sure that you ask yourself, who is somebody who can help you out? Maybe you have a significant other, kids, or friends who are willing to jump in and help you get started in business. I know for me personally, not having a team actually held me back for a long time. Now, thank goodness, I ended up finding Kurt and Nais, who literally changed the game for me forever. Because it got me out of doing the things that I'm not good at and put it into their hands, and they completely own their part of the equation. So I can have space for the strengths that I have. I also want you to think about what are some online courses, some mastermind programs, Programs, some podcasts, some books that you can dive into. There's a lot of skills for you to learn, but if you laser focus on one or two at a time and then master that skill, that's what success looks like. Now, I talk a lot about the people that you surround yourself with. This is actually step number three. If you really want to grow in an area, find some other people who also want to grow in that area. So who is someone in this new area that you're exploring that you can connect with for support? If you're thinking about leaving your job, You've got to find other people who've been able to do that for themselves. It is so hard if you're trying to create a business, but you're around people who just don't think on that level. It's not because there's something wrong with them. You just have to be very cognizant of who you hang out with because those thoughts, those beliefs, and those actions are contagious. One of the questions I like to ask myself is how can I find five to 10 people who want it equally as bad as I do? There's this process called exponential growth. And when you are around other people who want to grow just as bad as you, when you guys collectively get together, you get to experience growth, not only through your eyes, but through their eyes too. This is how you truly speed up the process. And it's the reason why I join programs. I'm a part of courses and I'm a part of masterminds because it really helps me succeed faster. Now, the trick is I want you to constantly focus on mindset, tactics, and community because anytime I feel like I'm off track, I find there's one of those areas that I'm lacking. Now, if you're somebody who absolutely wants to make sure that you leave your job, I want to share a workshop with you. This is something my wife, Teresa, and I did recently where we talked about the 10 things you absolutely need to know before you even think about leaving your job. If you don't know these things now, it will hold you back. Don't forget to subscribe for additional videos related to this topic and keep leading from the front.